Hello, this is Mighty Owl. We already know that the product is the answer to a multiplication problem. But what about the numbers that are being multiplied? When two numbers are multiplied together to get a product, they are called factors. Factors can be helpful when we are working with multiplication and division. For example, we know that 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. And this means that 2 and 3 are factors of 6. Well, can you think of any other numbers that multiply to get 6? Uh, I can. 1 and 6 are also factors of 6. Factors can be positive or negative whole numbers. But we're going to focus just on the positive factors. What do you say we look at more numbers and their factors? Uh, what about the number 3? What numbers multiply to get 3? Huh. Well, 1 and 3 are the only factors. When a number's only factors are 1 and itself, it's called a prime number. The number 5 is another prime number. Because the only way to get a product of 5 is to multiply 1 and 5. And if a number has more factors than 1 and itself, then it's called a composite number. 10 is a composite number because you can multiply 1 and 10 or 2 and 5 to get to a product of 10. So how can we find the factors of a number? Well, a great way is to create an organized list. We always start with 1 since all numbers have 1 as a factor and then we work our way up to the number itself. So let's try this out. Uh, let's find all the factors of 20. Okay, we're going to start with 1. 1 multiplied by 20 is equal to, that's right, 20. Next, we move on to 2. 2 multiplied by 10 is equal to 20. Next, 3. Oh, there's nothing that we can multiply by 3 to get to 20. When we skip count by 3s, it goes from 18 to 21, and so 3 isn't a factor of 20. Moving on to 4, 4 multiplied by 5, that's equal to 20. And after 4 comes 5, ew, wait, look, we already found that 5 is a factor, and hey, this means we found all the factors of 20. Great job! So far, we've seen a couple of numbers that have 2 as a factor. Both 6 and 20 have factors of 2, and this is because 6 and 20 are multiples of 2. A multiple is a result of multiplying two numbers or a count by. When you skip count, you are listing all of the multiples of the number you are skipping by. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. These are all multiples of 2. I bet you can keep it going. Let's try this problem and find the first five multiples of four. All right, we can do this. Let's skip count by four. Okay, four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Excellent. You just found the first five multiples of four. I think we can do the next one. All right, so we need to find all of the factors of 26. Okay, we can do this. Let's start with 1. 1 multiplied by 26 is 26. Good. Next, we can check 2. Yeah, 2 multiplied by 13 is also 26. Now we can move on to 3. Um, no, 3 is not a factor because 3 times 8 is 24 and 3 times 9 is 27. Okay, let's try 4. No, not 4 because 4 times 6 is 24 and 4 times 7 is 28. Okay. Wow, as we continue to go through the numbers after 2, there are no other factors until we get all the way up to 13. Okay, so the factors of 26 are 1, 2, 13, and 26. All right. Let's find the factors of 11. Huh. Ooh, I remember. Start with 1. 
One multiplied by 11 is 11. Okay, now let's try two. Nope, not a factor, since 11 is not an even number. Okay, three. Three, six, nine, 12. No, not three. Move up on to four. Moving on to four. No. Five. No. Six. Uh-uh. Huh. It looks like 11 only has the factors of 1 and 11. Ah, that means it's a prime number, and the factors of 11 are only 1 and 11. Whoa, look at all those numbers. Oh, which of the following numbers are factors of 36? Okay, the only way to get this done is to organize them to check if they are factors by making two lists. Factors and not factors. Okay, let's get started. We know that 1 is a factor, so let's move on to 2. 2 multiplied by 18 is 36. Yes. Oh, real quick. Don't forget about how multiplication and division are related. You can also think 36 divided by 2 is what number to find 18. All right, so now we have that both 2 and 18 are factors. Okay, next is 3. 3 multiplied by what is 36? 12. Okay, we found two more factors. We're going to get good at this. <laughs> next is 4. Um, ah, 4 multiplied by 9 is 36. Okay, that's two more factors that have been found. Next, we can check 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Oh, another factor found. Aha, uh -huh, looks like we're starting to loop back up. So we have found all the factors. And this means that 5 and 15 are not factors. Okay, the last problem. We need to find the multiples of 5. Well, that shouldn't be too tough. We can just skip count by 5. So let's circle the numbers that are multiples of 5. Okay, so we are starting with 5. So let's circle 5. Now 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ah, there you go. Looks like we found all of the multiples of 5. Great work today. You learned about factors and multiples. Two numbers that are multiplied together are factors. And multiples are the count bys. And we can skip count to list multiples. Wow! You are expanding your math vocabulary with every lesson. How awesome is that?